What's up guys, Jay Little here for more Pack Crackers. We got another pack of War of the Spark week. Um, as a reminder, um, I'm doing all War of the Spark this week, and you're going to see a lot of War of the Spark here in the next couple weeks. Next few, probably the next month or so, until the 2020 course that comes out. But, um, what's the saying? Oh, um, yesterday I did the two for Tuesdays, got Massacre Girl, which I'm super stoked about. Um, and tomorrow, make sure you watch tomorrow's video, and make sure you're already a subscriber. I'll let you subscribe right now, it counts. Uh, and make sure you comment and like that video, because there is a big giveaway. More, the, the most expensive card I've given away on my YouTube channel since I started Pack Crackers, like three years ago, was, um, was it Meek Stone? It was one of the like masterpiece artifact foil things that I gave away. It was like thirty dollars, which is a lot of money uh, for me at least. I could eat for like three weeks off thirty bucks if I had to. But the giveaway I'm doing tomorrow is like twice that plus. So make sure, make sure you watch tomorrow's video. Let's crack this pack because tomorrow is tomorrow. Today is today, and we got cracks to pack. And there's Nicole Bolas being all maybe I'm gonna get a Nicole Bolas in this deck, that'd be awesome. Um, we got a Raging Crunch, uh, Battlefield prom promotion. She got a promotion, she she do she do goo at her job. Uh, Sky Theater Strix, Blind Blast, Ward Scare Crocodile, is a Crocagator, Spark Reaper, Callus Dismissal, uh, Boreal Grazer. Is this a sloth? This is a fucking sloth. What is this sloth doing? It has reach? Why does it. It should have, like, Defender if it's a sloth. Like, okay, here, um, I'm going to say this, uh, no, Wizards of the Coast, and you can have this idea if you get me, if you give me $500, okay? So, and nobody's, nobody's watching this anyway, so it doesn't matter, but, um, idea for you guys, you make sloth creatures, right? Right? Depending on the mana cost that they come out in. Uh, you know, yeah, each of your upkeep, you put a counter on it, and you get a movement counter, we'll say. Uh, and then, depending on the mana cost, it uh, you can remove X amount of movement counters, and it can attack that turn. So, like a like a like a big cost sloth would have like remove two or three. Like a low cost sloth would have removed like five or six. So every upkeep you get, you get one of those counters and they can remove them. And when you remove them, that turn you can attack with it if you want. Otherwise, it has defender. Yeah? Get it? Because they're slow. They're slow as shit, but you know, whatever. That's my idea. You know, I'm just try to help you out, Wizards of the Coast, and also trying to get $500. But anyway, we got Divine Arrow. Uh, not a sloth. Uh, Thundering the Ceratox, also not slothy. My first uncommon, Rowl's Outburst. Two, a blue, and a red. For an instant, it deals three damage to any target. Look at the top two cards of your library, put the one of them into your hand, and the other, what? And the other into your graveyard, okay? Nissa's Triumph, my next uncommon. Uh, two green uh, for a sorcery. Search your library for up to two basic forest cards. If you control a Nissa Planeswalker, instead search your library for up to three land cards. Reveal those cards, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. I'm going to burp, I apologize. Okay, try to do it off microphone. Then I got a Jiang Yangu Wild Crafter. 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 Two and a green. Uh, for a three loyalty counter planeswalker, his static ability, each creature control with a 1 1 counter on it, has tap to add one mana of any color. And it's minus one is put a 1 1 counter on target creature. Pretty good if you already have a deck built around 1 1 counters. My rare or mythic is a rare awakening of Vidugazi. Speaking of Nissa, as you see right here, she woke up Vidugazi, the city tree. 
and it was pissed off, as you can, as you will soon find out. Uh, it's three and two green for an instant. You put nine one one counters on target land you control. It becomes a legendary zero zero elemental creature with with what haste named Vidugazi. It's still a land. I, it said haste. It clearly says haste. I thought it said basic. It becomes a basic, uh, or it becomes an elemental creature with basic name. Then a forest. Good for good. Yep. You see that? You just you just do that. See? Yep. And a zombie army. But anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, remember to tune in tomorrow for a huge giveaway. The biggest giveaway on my channel of all time. Um, and I'm super upset about it because it is one of the main cards I've wanted since before the set came out. Once the spoilers started to, to like, you know, spread on through to the other side, uh, this is the one card I wanted more than anything, and I have to give it away, and I'm so sad. But anyway, guys, uh, I'll also say this. To, to fuel the hype machine, it's a foil. And it's worth more than 30 bucks. So anyway, guys, tune in tomorrow for that giveaway. Tune in the rest of this week. Friday, I'll have, uh, what is it, a bundle pack? It's not called Fat Pack anymore because that's silly. But I'll have a bundle pack on Friday. So check that out. Uh, you want to watch it as well. Good cards, no giveaways on Friday, but big, big giveaway on Thursday. So make sure you watch that, guys. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Even if you only watch for the giveaways, I get it. Uh, but all your views and all your all your minutes watched and your likes and your comments and your subscribes all help out, even if it's just a little. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll keep on cracking. Later.